Hello. This is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. This video is going to show you a little tip on drilling into information in item maintenance. On screen, we have an item that is valued via serial numbers. What I want to do is go over to Transactions and let's see how we can find out what serial numbers are impacted with each type of transaction, purchase orders and sales orders. Now when I come here, nothing shows up. And that's because the default for the information displayed is the period that your inventory module is in. In my case, it happens to be January. My transactions, though, are in August. If I click on my little binoculars, I'm able to filter the data that I want, and I want to do all transactions. Also note you have a transaction type here. You can come in here and select a particular transaction type to make it easier to find your information if you have a lot of data. You could see here that I had three purchase orders and I have two sales order invoices. So this is for warehouse 000. If I wanted to see all warehouses, I would just click on the all and it would bring me all warehouses. As you can see, I only have transactions in 000. So let's go back to 000. Now, let's click on one of these items. You could see that I have three green icons to the right and they all do something a little different. The very first one is going to bring me to the document that created this transaction. In this case, it's receipt number G001027 from purchase order 10040. All of that's up in the header. If I come to lines, you'll see the two items that were included on that receipt. And in fact, if I click on modem, which is a serialized item, I can come over here and I have some more icons and I can drill further into it and I can see what serial numbers were received. While I'm here, we might want to take a peek and see the additional information here. I can see the general ledger account number that was debited during the receipt of uh, the receipt of uh, goods. I could see when it was required. I have a little bit more information like the product line that was uh, used, the costing method, the tax class, etc. Let's come back out over here and I can go to the second icon and this is kind of nice because I can quickly go to what serial numbers were received on this rather than having to go to the document find the lines, and then drilling into the lines. Here's a quick and easy way to find the serial numbers. By the way, I can come in here and if I click on this, I can go back in and zoom on the original document. So one way, I'm starting with the document, then finding the serial numbers. The second way is going to the serial number and then finding the document. My last one is the journal zoom. This is going to show the journal entry. In our case, it's PO14, posted on 8-14-2018, and this is the journal entry. Now, this journal entry is going to include all receipt of goods that occurred, not just for this one line. You can see that I have the same thing happening with sales orders. Here's my sales order invoices. I can look at my document. Here's my invoice number. Uh, with my invoice number, I could see if the um, invoice is still um, open or if it has been paid. It's going to show me tax details. If I had put in shipping information or split commissions, I'd be able to look that up from this drill down too. Now, if I come to lines, here are my lines and let's keep going. I can keep drilling in and here is the serial number that was used on this invoice. Again, I have more information about the journal entry, my sales accounts, my cost of goods sold account. I would have to go to my product line to see the inventory account that was used and um, any other type of discounts that could possibly happen here. Let's exit out. We're back over here. And again, if we go into our little invoice over here, I'm seeing, or our little icon over here, I can quickly see what serial number was used for this invoice. And if I come down here, I can see the, uh, the journal entry 
that posted this to the general ledger. And again, it's going to include all of the invoices that were included in SO 10 dated 8-14-28. Hope this is, has been useful for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Each time we post new content, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.